Or be, or be considered a high-level player. Kind of needs to be PS4, unfortunately, but that's just the way it is. It's tournament standard, that's just the way it goes. Okay, so, uh, Deoxys, how would you get in on one of these? Let us know you want to play, and we'll look to get you in on a week, basically, man. All it basically requires is for you to be able to play on our time zone, because usually this is done in the middle of the week on Wednesday. Um, and GMT for us is kind of the go-to. So if you uh, want to be on it, get yourself a PS4, uh, be ready, 8 p.m. GMT, and uh, we'll find you an opponent. And you can All right. With them. So I'm really excited for this matchup, to be honest with you, um, because Crazy Fingers, uh, we've seen him a few weeks ago, and uh, he's been playing a lot since then, so of course his tech with Swamp Thing's kind of developing as time goes. Gur, fresh off his NLBC victory the with only, Atom. The only tournament-winning Atom so far in the world, I think, so far. And NLBC so, uh, had some really good players, too. So there's actually a, a big accomplishment having Atom take something so early. Very, very excited. But this is going to be exciting. Crazy fingers we've had before with a really cool looking Swamp Thing. Really, really a lot of knowledge, right? Been playing Swamp Thing for a very long time. Has uh, quite a favourite to watch in the community so far. But Gur has just been uh, just so many characters. Oh. Help me find Palmer, Swamp Thing. You're not ready, boy. If you want to test me, I'm... Begin. Wow, we, wow. We didn't why would you watch like 95% of the intro and cut off the last word? <laughs> now, I think the instant shrink was probably on anticipation of one of those longer range limbs. And I love the fact they actually low profiled that forward too and shrunk right before it came out. Now, Gur's Atom is, I think it's a really good character for the way Gur plays. Um, a big thing he does is he'll just pop that tree and just go nuts. Ooh, last minute cross ups, a very, very deliberate standing one. Is that a back one or standing one? The, uh, oh, we'll try to wake up trait, but there we go. No invincibility on that, and Fingers is going to chew that up for sure. A nice lead, at least. Oh. Going clean underneath that down three. Oh, there's the unblockable. Uh oh, <laughs> going under. There's no, there's no way. Look at that defense from Crazy Fingers. Absolutely ridiculous. He just blocked an entire atom trait and still found the time to get the down one. Jump three, ne it's not going to have, even though his jump-ins aren't really the worst in the world, he's still not going to hold a candle to Swamp Thing, I don't think, in some of these cases. Drops the combo, though, so that's somewhat of an opening. That's another wake-up trait attempted from Gur. I think Gur is just expecting Crazy Fingers to hold back and just respect the wake-up teleport, but that's every time he's got knocked down, Crazy Fingers has gone for the meaty. Now, in these first 10 situations, though, that is a lot of games to figure out how the opponent's going to pressure you on wake-up. That's a lot of time to gauge how they're going to approach your character, so... These things that we're seeing Gur go for at the moment, he may not go for them down the line. I still can't go over the fact that he sh literally shrinks when he crouches. It's so strange, but in a good way. Oh, nice and I safe. like the attempt for Vingus, thinking he's just going to get there in time to punish him coming out of the trait. We have to remember, that's a big thing about Atom. If Atom comes out of his trait, he, there is a little bit of recovery. If it goes the whole way, it's a huge amount. But if he comes out earlier, it's a little bit safer, but still very much punishable if you have to, a quick enough move to get in there. <laughs> Tries to shrink and then eats a log. That log must be skyscraper-sized if you're Atom in that tree. Oh my god. I went for the ground pound, but there we go. Just a Ooh. raw hit. That's probably not going to do enough to kill, but very close. A very respectable amount, though. Oh! <laughs> the delay, and there we go. Game number one, but that's game one of many. We'll see how the adaptation happens. Swamp Thing wins. Ba-da! One. Well, I mean, a good start. Crazy Fingers looking quite comfortable in the matchup, to be honest. Atom's still relatively new and very awkward to fight, especially early on. When a character like this comes out and it's been like, what, a week and a half, I suppose, if that? Obviously, it takes a lot of uh, getting used to. To know what the usual go-to go to's are, right? Like, how do they get off the ground? What's the pressure like? Where do I block? Ah, oh, the return of the Mohawk Swamp Thing. Oh yeah, very nice. I gotta say, <laughs> very nice. I gotta say, I feel like we're gonna trigger so many people saying "gur" when, of course, the American pronunciation everyone says "gur," which is so weird for us because that does not exist in my accent. I could call him George. His name is George. My, oh, my, George, my, my, my good up. friend George. Oh, Aunt Yed. So a nice start for Crazy Fingers. He's got like a BMX helmet. <laughs> he does. That's literally the BMX Bandit for anyone that knows who that is. Oh my god, this Atom is literally the BMX Bandit in the flesh. Oh, that full screen pickup. That was actually really cool. One can summon angels, and the other one rides a BMX. He's pretty good in his BMX. Of course, Swamp Thing is the angel summoner because he gets wings. And then this Atom is the BMX Bandit. Oh! I actually love that. That's, that. that's multiple times Crazy Fingers have seen him come out of the trait and is going for that full screen back forward three to try and get a full combo from it. Very nice. 
Oh, good block. Is that actually... Uh, that was a punish. A clean punish. And into the tick throw as well. Crazy Fingers not letting him get away with anything. I like how if he's not going for the launch, he's going for that restand situation, which then, of course, gives Swamp Thing those almost like tick grabs, which he does so well. And no whiff punish. Very surprised he did not see him whiff punish that one. But yeah, caught pressing buttons, and that's going to be a very good extra round for Gur, who now... We've seen Atom in the corner before. He's a bit of a monster, but... We'll see against Swamp Thing. I'm not sure whether he's actually going to have much Swamp Thing's normals actually are doing an amazing job of just swatting Atom out of that trait every time. Like, jump in, <laughs> standing strings. Every button he's pressing is hitting him out of the trait. So when he crouches that, that punching man, it's the fact that he just goes really small when the guy misses it. It just looks so funny. <laughs> oh, that ground pound is so good. Anyone that has played Bo Raichu and MKX, man, it really reminds me of that kind of strength. That raw trait activation lose to it again. Crazy Fingers has too many mids for that to work, and Gura is just getting caught out over and over again. Looks a lot like uh, Swamp Thing has some decent buttons for this matchup. Like, it actually mm. looks like a lot of his buttons are I'm catching saying, him. Everything Crazy Fingers is pressing is hitting him out of trait, like, without fail. He's not managing to low-profile anything, and this is a character with a lot of low-profile potential. Nice wake-up teleport, but he has to be careful now. Not quite chip territory yet, but he's getting closer. But of course, crazy. Ooh. Still had his clash. So even if he got opened up there, he would have had to get opened up twice rather than the, the single time. I, I wonder if activating the trait in the air is what could be helping out Go here, though. Because obviously he could pop trait whenever he's like... Well, if he's in the air, he can pop it. If he's on the ground, he can um, special cancel into it. But when he's activating it just raw on the ground, he's consistently just getting whacked immediately. And he's losing a lot of health, and that's a hefty cooldown time on that trait too. But it, it really, to me, looks like Swamp Thing's got some decent answers um, for Atom. Like, you know, it's hard for Atom to pressure on Wake Up because the, the, the amazing Wake Up covers all the bases, covered in amazing mids. And amazing mids is exactly how you deal with Atom when he's in his trait form and he's really small. I'm gonna be honest though, like this, this, this actually feels like... The hardest, the hardest I've seen Atom to enforce what Atom wants to do. Swamp Thing just seems to really not care about anything that Atom is trying to do. Well, we can't forget, of course, that Atom is two weeks old. You know, he, he, he is still, in many ways, competitively a brand new character because he's only been out for two weeks. But that said, you normally see Atom overwhelm a lot of people. Um, and right now, it looks like Gurr having a bit of a hard time, but it, 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 many ways, could be the matchup. Crazy Fingers has a good amount of knowledge on what he needs to do against this character, too. So it's a mixture of multiple things, I think, on top of the fact that Crazy Fingers is just playing this matchup really well. I mean, it's still early days. There we go. Safety able to get out of trade, and that's going to be a full hit. Oh, oh, big read from Gurr. There we go. It's chemical. Following up with it. Good patience again. Crazy Fingers' defense has been on point. Definitely. Very expensive sequence for Gurr, too. Now, of course, if you're going to sit there and wait for the wake-up teleport and you wait for the meter burner, nice which shit, shit, by the way. But uh, if you're going to sit there and wait for the teleport and um, you're going to meter burn it and then you can punish, of course, that, in theory, should allow Atom to teleport and then just do nothing. So he's just got away for free, got out of the corner, and you're expecting the meter burn to try and punish, but if he doesn't do it, that's it, he's gone. That's a full launch as well. Crazy Fingers has been placing those back forward threes really well. Getting a full launch every time. We'll see. Oh, good trade for Gurr, to be honest. She's trying to build that space. This is Gurr with the corner interactable behind oh, him. Oh, but yeah, this is Swamp Thing in the corner, though, to be honest. Oh, nice. Actually, could have armor broke that quite easily, but Gurr, he was a bit hesitant, held back. I wonder if he was worried about the wake-up tree instead, but... Oh, man. i got to say crazy thing is, man. Like, some of the normals, it, it's hard to explain, but when he fought against George and when he's fighting now, it looks like he's using a little bit more of the tool set that Swamp Thing has. There's certain conversions and certain setups that we just didn't see before. I mean, that was basically day one of the new patch, right? So there wasn't as much time to get used to the changes. I would love to see how Atom is able to get this ground pound stuff on the go if he's the one with the life lead, right? Because Gurr's getting some decent damage, and in many ways, actually, he's doing a fantastic job of being the one that um, brings a lot of the life back. However, it's always when he's down on life. If he can get a life lead first and then start doing this full screen stuff, it might be way better off for him. But yeah, wow, just... you see Gurr tried to space out the wake up, but it hits too far, and there's the plus frames from there as well. Oh, a big thing here, though, is just the footsies department. Swamp Thing is just, just, just holding Atom at arm's reach and just not letting him move. He's literally just holding his arm out, full stretch. He's just hand on his face. Atom's flinging his arms around, trying to, trying to reach. The Swamp Thing's like, no. I'm not going to let you do anything. My arms are longer than yours. Now the people- I have a club. Of course, the people really want to watch, um, they really want to see Gurr use Atom, but of course Gurr has an amazing Black Manta, which he plays an absolute ton of. But He's Bane, always got though. the Bane. He's always got the Bane, so- Bane is that secret weapon. 
Yeah, so we've seen Gersey in the chat. He'll give he'll give us Atom five games, right? So if he if he gets five zero essentially um, with this Atom, he'll go for a character change, which of course makes a lot of sense. But I feel like to be honest, in this scenario, this is going to be really good data for Ger. Now you know what I said in the previous game, this ground pound stuff. How well will it serve if he's got the life lead? Very evidently, he fares much better. I mean, it's costing Crazy Fingers a lot of resources to just close the distance. He hasn't even got the life lead back yet. But speaking of which, Gur just used his only bar to get out there. But a big jump in from Crazy Fingers, but it didn't turn into a full combo. And a nice read. Lovely a neutral read. jump on the grab. Absolutely beautiful read, actually, that, that straight jump. Knowing that if he's going for a restand, it, there's going to be a tick throw here, you know. And that those tick throw scenarios, it's a hard read on, on account of both <laughs> players. I love it when he shrinks and waves. Oh, God. No, it's just like his voice goes really high-pitched when he's that small. It's so good. You can tell that I think Netherrealm had a lot of fun making this character. I mean, the, the, he, he has a lot of personality. Oh, guys, he's going to shrink, and then he's going to wave at the camera, and then go big again. I'm like, great <laughs> idea! But it is a great idea. They are I, right. I agree, it's definitely a great idea. Oh, and again, that pressure. This is where Gur is struggling, when he's just got crazy fingers point blank, and he's just oh, my. slightly out of range of his own normals, but Swamp Thing is just having the edge there. There's a big me back there, oh, no! no! Drop combo! Tries to down three, the little man. Tries to wake up, grab the little man. Uh -oh. I would be surprised if we saw Swamp Thing command grab small atom. Do you reckon Green Thumb hits it? I don't know. I'd love I mean, to see he just it. like Ooh. squish him like a fly. Maybe. Instant death. Clean jumping. No conversion though. Probably tried to go for another forward two. Oh, nice trip guard yeah, from Wait, Green. Just wait for the jump. The second he sees the jump, instant ground pound. And at any point tally. he could meter burn it to go for the unblockable if he wanted. Ouch. Yeah, and there's that regular teleport. And with that much bar, you've got to be a bit of a madman to see a atom with that much bar and then try and press buttons! Wow! Was that? That was favorable. And there's the- you're going to try and tick grab me, mate? Here comes the tree. Swamp thing in the corner is so dangerous. I can go win this. Yeah, he's got plenty of bar. He's going to spend three. Most optimal health regeneration, keeping one for a rainy day. Crazy Finger still has a clash of his own. Oh, big hit! Oof! Minimal, yeah, minimal punish. Of course, no meter burn spent, so no combo! There's the read. Oh, oh my big god! Big hit, but no! He yeah. actually hesitated there, didn't go for another forward three. No clash for you. There's the grab. A little bit more left to go before we can win, though. But if he gets a hit, he's gonna have the armor, and there we go. I should say the uh, meter burn, but won't get the opportunity to go with just a raw jump in. I feel like that wake up log kick was probably on anticipation of Gersh shrinking. I uh, must have been expecting him to go small, and of course if the log kick worked it would have been really good for him, but... Hard read, man. Fallow says, shouldn't Atom be able to use his character power when Swamp Thing has the command grab caught and slip out in between his fingers? I mean, you're the designer, you tell me! Why can't he do that? Well, you know he says, if you're not careful I'll, I'll shrink and go up your nose. I mean, Swamp I, I Thing's nostrils. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, oh I wouldn't. god, can you I imagine going up? Die. Can you imagine? I would we rather him discussion. crush me to death. We had, we had this discussion of what characters would you least want to fly into their nose? I feel like Swamp Thing's gotta be like at I mean, the it was top Grod, of that It list. was Grodd last time. Oh, Grodd and Swamp <laughs> Oh my god. This is the real matchup. What character would you not want to fly inside of? Oh, oh no. god. Oh, good trade for Go. Is he gonna get her in time? No, just goes for normal string. Oh Not maximum damage, but <laughs> did no damage. It was probably as much as he would get with the amount of time he had left. Yeah. Log kick looks like a really good answer to be honest. Oh, say. another drop! That's so weird that he's consistently not getting that jump into connect. I just wonder if he should just start going for the jump too, just out for sanity's sake, or just do something on the ground instead. There's the backdash. Oh, yeah, the backdash. Oh, tries to go for the wake up charge, but of course, these mids, man, they're so meaty. No whiff punish attempt. Looking I actually, little... I actually think that Gur is yet to get any just standing strings. Ooh, Ooh, big hello. Punch. That caught him right before the log came out. Oh, gonna spend another bar. Crazy fingers getting nice. opened up for that air tech. That was expensive from Gur, but he's managed to even things now, out. Now the chemical worked, but normally at this kind of range, you normally don't see Atom have the, the free space or the time available to get those chemicals dropped. You know, I think even though he got it, and, oh, I love it, grabbing at the very end to make sure he's not punishable. I mean, Crazy Fingers hasn't down him out of it in a while. This is such a weird matchup because Gurr is... It is very weird. You I can actually, say that I, again. I mean, can you tell me a time that he's actually got a string on block into something against Crazy Fingers? It's yeah. just so unconventional. And there was that late down one, probably expecting another grab attempt. Air to air. 
Crazy Fingers forced to clash. Very, very decent, to be honest with you. He wasn't going to take a huge amount of damage, but the important thing is going to be reset back to neutral, get some health back, see what you can do. He'll win it for free. It is going to be huge, though, for Gurren now, uh, knowing he hasn't got to cut his damage short anymore. Definitely. He can just go Ooh. ham. Oh, big jump in, but no confirm again! I was very surprised that didn't work, to be honest. You can see the sheer level of patience. Down one into the uh, shrink, so very, very good idea. That late down one, expecting a grab attempt, and hang on, Crazy Fingers, he's gonna get one heal. He's gonna build one more bar, so if he gets a good hit, and the answer! Oh no, he couldn't clash because he went the other side! What is going on? Oh, oh god. No. Gary's given an opportunity, he's got four bars. Oh! Wait. No! He went for a little bit too What is going on? Oh, it's not gonna work! Oh, oh no! Oh, no, he didn't do it! He went for it, but went the wrong way! And just for good measure, Atom jumps back into the direction of the enemy after running out of Lotus uh -oh. Bar. Yeah, I mean, he can still win. It's gonna be tough, though. Crazy Fingers does have that bar. Ooh, the friend is wasted. Oh, 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 he got over the he log! He jumped over the log! He jumped over the log, you little genius! That's like when you- Oh, God. That's like when you, you try and put a bucket over a spider, or a cup <laughs> over a spider, because you want to get it and throw it outside. Well, then it evades the cup no. and jumps at you. That's you try and or you try off. you try and put a cup over a spider and oh no, it's a daddy long legs and it <laughs> flies up into your face. I was wrong. I was so wrong. That was one of the best endings ever of all time. Oh my god. I mean, Gary was so, doing <laughs> so much shit like that. <laughs> NLBC last night. I am it's so It's so memorable. If you guys haven't seen um, NLBC replay from last night, go on uh, Team Spooky and check it out. It was. A thing of beauty. I am so glad we are able to see this matchup. Begin. My word. Only on oh twitch.tv forward slash PND Ketchup. Uh, it would be PND KNM, but too much gets lost if we change the name. That's a bit <laughs> unimportant trivia for you guys. But all oh, the conversion, very Ooh. clean. Nice amount of damage, too. I do agree that Adam has one of these, uh, one of the coolest playstyles, Astral, to be honest with you. Um, because in a game where, um, of course, you can be creative with the characters, but. Even like this late on, with, with the characters that we're seeing released, Atom is so unique compared to everyone else. And again, Bounty Hunter is just always there in chat, ready to just clip the best moments. That's why Bounty Hunter is the main a, man. I have the, a huge the, the appreciation for this. Oh. And this full screen game, man. Like, it, I, I tell you, the, the ground pound looks like a really decent answer. Oh, big wake up, too. Oh, but goes clean under. Full combo incoming. Oh, interesting. Slap. Yeah, we haven't really seen that float get used, and I do wonder if either Gur's saving it for later, or whether he just doesn't deem it very useful in this matchup. Oh, there we go, the air activation on the trait, but the down one on Crazy Fingers. I'm actually surprised Crazy Fingers isn't turning that down one into something to get a combo from it. Because if you're going to make the read of down oneing Atom in his trait, you may as well turn it into something that will combo. Especially when you're someone like uh, Swamp Thing that has an option for that down one. I mean, no disrespect intended, there's also the possibility that Gur, not Gur, sorry, Crazy Fingers, because he's trying to answer to the, uh, the shrink, he might just be mashing down one, like where he has the earliest possible Gap, or if it's not mashing, one. pressing it more more than it kind of required to get a clean special cancel. Yeah, well right? the term mashing down one means he's probably just um, just doing it a bunch for when he gets the soonest you know opportunity to do oh, it. No, I don't mean hit confirm the down one. I mean like when you do when you make the read of going for the down one, turn that down one into something, you know, that yeah. you can get a combo on. There's that restand. Go for it again. Down three as well, man. Just trying to challenge him. Oh, there's the air trait activation again, but oh, an nice. immediate wake up from Crazy Fingers, but wasn't quite able to confirm. No, that's going to be a catch, but there's the clash. He's going to keep himself right alive. Did you say I'll take you down to Tiny Town? <laughs> Potentially. They've both got one each, so this is definitely favourable for Gurr right now. And of course, being able to use his clash, a couple more ground pounds, he's going to be in the money. Oh, raw forward three. I'm not quite sure if that's what he wanted. Okay, yeah. So he's made the comeback. Three, three. Interesting. Interested to see how this develops, man. Three games each. Now, Gur originally said, I'm going to give it five games with Atom. And if because it, it was three straight for Crazy Fingers at the beginning. So I now wonder, if it, if he loses five games in total, now he's bought three back, is he now going to go all the way? Is this going to be Atom only? Because clearly, he has made an adaptation. And a very, very clear adaptation here definitely was do everything you can to get the life lead first. And when you have the life lead, play on that full screen game, harass Swamp Thing and don't allow him to basically just play that strong mid game that he's been doing in the first three games.
Well, it's tied up though. I mean, it's it's it's, it's always a, probably a, a big morale boost, right? When you are down three in a row to just bring it back. The Wager has right now. I suppose the character he's clearly been putting a lot of time into as well. Doesn't drop it this time. Chemical. Oh wow, Crazy Finger's gonna be taking a lot of damage. Oh no, the uh, Green Thumb repositioning actually puts him out of it. Oh, but that pressure making him take quite a lot of damage. Even though Gers back to the corner, all he has to do is escape that one time, which the trait is gonna allow him to do. And yeah, there's that down one to check him again. Not a massive amount of reward, because again, when Crazy Fingers is getting his down one, and even though he's been consistent, it's like you said, he's not doing his tree launch. Um, if he was getting those down ones every time, of which he is, if he did tree launch, he'd be getting a full combo for those pokes. Sorry, K9, before you get the chance to fight Foxy, you've got to do something in the game first, unfortunately. You can't get the big boys straight away, as uh, bad as that sounds. <laughs> Oh, a good combo though, the launch, he's gonna go for the restand, what's next? Yeah, the instant read on the command grab. That big meter burn back three as well, but it didn't actually get the combo, that's a shame. Ooh, Ooh. Very nice meterless conversion off that wake up. Clean. Now we'll see. These trades are gonna be in Crazy Fingers' favour. Oh, the car! Dearie me. There's the launch. Now, what's the mix-up? Of course, the heal. He can now afford to take a couple of hits here. Oh, of course not. Oh, but a big teleport. That's not bad at all. I mean, Gert's been getting so much out of that teleport. He's not doing it every time, but clearly it's a becoming a problem for Crazy Fingers to deal with. Now, I Oof. would look at the bar. I would definitely look at that super meter and say, oh, that, thing that is was it. really cute. I like that. Very, very good. Spend a bar. Of course, we're going to see the heal because he's got the bar to work with. Oh, tries to stagger, but still ready for the grabs. Now, Gary, he's reading the command grab over and over again, but he's not quite getting a full combo from it, which means he's not quite as confident in that thing. Oh! <laughs> and again, just on like, just a jump three by itself. Unless he's just trying to keep it as unclashable as possible, just maybe? refusing to be command grab, to be honest with you. Oh, the clash. <laughs> now he's going to deny it. He's going to deny this health. But it's not quite as easy for him to get access to chip damage without bar. Well, hang on a minute. That is probably going to do it. Oh, oh, the barrel will do. Nice. Not bad at all. Now, Gera has actually taken a game in the series. Yeah, he's now up on games for the first time, at least. It's a nice turnaround, though. I mean, he was down 3-0, right? I'm sure he was down 3-0. Yeah, come back it was three straight, looking straight. really strong. But now it's four games in a row. I mean, he's definitely starting to get a bit more comfortable. And there are still, you know, areas that he looks like he's still figuring out as it goes. But at the same time, so is Crazy Fingers. I think the big thing with Crazy Fingers is that um, he's kind of going for the same level of... Uh, the same level of, like, pressure. He's going for the same tick grabs. It's just Gur is now making him pay a bit more for them. So it's not quite as easy of a read as crazy, for Crazy Fingers to make. Begin. Now, if Gur's able to get five games in a row... That's my start to wonder, you know, is that going to be a situation where will he be stopped? Is it going to be possible now? There's that wake up. That's a good start. Oh no, the unfortunate one. Look like it could have been a lag spike actually. Now, this full screen game has been in the oh, favor of Gurr so consistently now. That one adaptation forcing fingers to come to him, which is so weird. You look at a crowd like Atom, you would never expect this to kind of be a matchup where Atom's able to almost keep Swamp Thing at arm's reach. Well, you wouldn't normally, but that projectile doesn't do a huge amount of damage by itself. Oh, good, managing to get that trait activation, but they're down one again. Actually makes you wonder if, if that's actually the right call, though, because if you can outlast the Atom trait, you get a full combo from it if he's point blank. Um, but the down one is kind of just, I suppose, getting him out of it a little bit easier. Oh, I love that. Immediately cancelling into the garden and then going for the armoured launcher, like straight after expecting a button press. The second he's got the garden on, so much damage has been used. And a big thing we didn't see from uh, Fingers beforehand um, was he wasn't really using the trait a huge amount. Whereas now, in this kind of situation, he's going to put Girl on his toes a little bit more. He's going to have to watch out for that trait activation. Activation. He might be trying to press some of these buttons. Of which, if Swamp Thing gets you press some buttons, he's going to absolutely mess you up if he's standing in armour. Here's that full screen game good trying to enforce, but he doesn't have the life lead. He's just trying to even things out with Crazy Fingers. Not really being quite as patient as I think he should be, considering the life lead. There's that project on. Oh, wow. Actually decides to meter burn that one. That's yeah. the one that Crazy Fingers comes in on. Instantly meter burn rolling into the damage over time. If there's one time it was going to be an unfortunate time to go for it, that was the moment. Guys brought this one back, though, after such a dominant first round. 
That's two of those connecting, there's two lows. Quite sure what Crazy Fingers is getting hit by them. It's not really a mix up, and he's not really doing anything else at the time. Like, he's just getting caught on startup, he's just not blocking them. Oh, 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 I thought that was going to catch. I think everyone was expecting that to knock back. That would have been so sick. Now, Gur has managed to really stabilize this game, considering he was down a lot of life. I think he's just managing to just place those gunshots and ground pounds correctly. Oh, hang on a minute. Coming out early to keep himself safe. Down one. Oh, the me about back three. That is going to do enough. So, with five straight games, you can definitely assume that Gur has figured something out. Figured. He's figured out the juice, you know, the key. And uh, the second you lose five games in a row, you kind of get put in a situation where it's, okay, well, you had an amazing start, but now it's on you, right? You know, now you've got to make sure things continue. Yeah, you had a really good start, and if you lose five straight games, something clearly needs to change. Otherwise, the matches will just completely ramp up. And I love the fact that Gurr stuck with Atom. A lot of people in a set in this kind of situation will be three games down, or two, maybe even in some cases two games down, because they were kind of dominant sets, with the exception of the second game, where someone will go, right, I'm just going to immediately change characters. But Gur sticking with Atom and figuring out what he needs to do in this one particular matchup, he's, fi he's figured out what he needs to do. So now when he fights Swamp Thing, or now when he fights Fingers again, or anyone else that plays this character with this matchup in particular, he's going to be happy that he's stuck with it. He's going to be happy that he kept the games going. And this is what you do when you grind in the first of ten. Oh, if that, just that raw forward three on Crazy Fingers Wake Up with that big Wake Up Tree going to do all that again. And Gur, be, if Gur was able to get a combo from the amount of jump threes that are connecting, he would be so much more better off, but it's just not quite the same. There's the cloud going through. Look at the damage Fingers is taking just by being near them. Probably more damage than the combo would have done to be honest. Like, and he shrunk! Oh my god. He shrunk through the string, you cheeky, cheeky man. Oh, oh my god. god. This is just, oh, he's got the, 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 the clipboard. He's like, yeah, I'm going to remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, can shrink under that string. Noted. He's writing down his notes, man. Some people got a mobile phone. They got a friend to coach them. He just writes that shit down on a clipboard. I want to see Gur go to the next major with a uh, clipboard. Clipboard, exactly, yes. Look at that forward two. Looks like Gur's just respecting a bit more now. Doesn't get the, the meter burn on that for a full combo. Looking so much more comfortable, to be honest. And yeah, using the charge. In some cases, I wonder if it's to try and reposition sides and stay away from the corner. I think he's just throwing it out as almost like a whip punish attempt. Because it is a high, but it does go quite far. And if he meat burns it, it's a full combo. <laughs> wow. Managed to go under two of those with the chemical. Nice. Oh, big launch. No way Crazy Fingers is going to drop that one. All goes to the garden. Oh, oh big my call God! Out. He went through the armor. That was a really interesting looking setup from Fingers, but I mean, just beat by a normal wake-up attack. Hate to see that kind of thing happen. But I wonder, because obviously being in the garden, that was going to be completely armoured. I wonder why, you know, did the armour disappear? Did the armour not apply on the other side? Should he go for a different move? Like, who knows? Oh, the mirror burn roll got chewed up. Crazy Fingers using a lot of bar just to try and get close, but going to beat out the trait again. Uh, good call from Fingers, actually, to wait. Expecting the delayed or oh, spending a bar of meter. Unfortunately, losing that bar in this situation is going to be really unfortunate because now if Gur lands even with the heal, no, spending every ounce of meter on the heal. I agree with that decision, to be honest. Yeah, I think he got him more health back than he would through clashing. He's got to watch out for that super. He has got to be so careful about, especially uh -oh. now. Uh oh. Don't get hit by anything, fingers. You can't. Gur can shrink and then super him or unblock him. Oh, no, right more. Now. Super's gone. But you got to watch out for the trait still. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, he's really fishing for this final hit. Unblockable. Oh. Now he's gonna have to oh, that's out. Chip! That's Chip! Oh, oh my god! god. That does so much! Jesus Christ! How's it going, Scars Unseen? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're enjoying the, the mini-man. Well, the miniature fighter. I gotta say, I am so happy that Gur uh, picked Adam. I set. know. This character so is good. so wacky. That's so much Chip damage, though! I know! Oh it's my sick. god! Does, does everyone know if, if every hit in trait does the same amount of chip? Or is it like the different strength hits still do different amounts of chip? Or is it just like one universal amount per hit? I didn't even think about that, to be honest. So it looks like the same amount of damage, but regardless, <laughs> yeah. it's a lot. Like, it's a lot of damage. Gur mentioning in the chat that that was very much like an all or nothing decision. If he ran out, he was going to die. So he just went, I mean, I've got to fit in as many of these hits as possible to maximize the chip, right? He's even changed his, his card look. I think he's realised he's got Atom icon. Kerr did background. say on Twitter yesterday after NLBC, the the energy in the room was insane. The crowd enjoyed Atom. The stream enjoyed Atom. He had loads of fun playing Atom. And he said I may put Atom in my competitive team of characters going into 2018. And I feel like in many ways that's why we saw Gur stick with this character when he went three games down so early because he, he's trying to learn. 
when you pick a new character, this learning process is what you do. Is that good old-fashioned enemy taking damage for attack? Look, he's lost at least a hundred life through attacking Gur at the moment. Thanks to that one cloud. That wasn't even the leveled up version. And, and the, the, it's oh, different there now because he got hit, but that was even. Oh, oh my god. That's he dropped hurt. the combo, that's unfortunate. But he's still standing in it. He's still taking so much damage. Oh, oh god. my god. Good god. That was a dropped combo and he still died. He still died. Well. Oh, he's writing that one down too. Drop combo in corner more often. What? Uh oh, now he's... Oh, we... Look at the bar. Look at the bar and there's... Looks like it actually could have been an option select. I do wonder if we're going to see him go for that in the future, when he has the garden, especially. Oh, back to back down one. Maybe he's trying to tick grab. Good boy. I've got to say, Gur's fuzzies on that string have been ridiculous. Like, yeah. going for that log, being able to react to the overhead. That hurt. I just can't way. remember the last time I saw him get opened up by that unblock. It's been really good. Very colourful zoning at the moment. <laughs> Through Gur, trying to control the space with the, the pretty colours. Oof. Big help that forward, too. Is something wrong with the audio, guys? I saw a Twitch comment saying, what's up with the audio? But if not, we'll uh, see what's up. If nothing's changed, we'll just keep it as is. Oh, that call out! He knew Crazy Fingers was going to go in to try and punish him for the activation, so that instant jump into that attack. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. The lag. Not like that. Well, we're going to have to give the game to go, I think, because it was Crazy Fingers that disconnected. Actually, look at the lobby. Is, is Gur still here? Yeah, yeah well, it's Crazy it. Fingers have to give the game to, to Gur, unfortunately. Well, if it's a fun first ten, I mean, we'll, we'll look in the chat and see if they want to let the game rock, actually. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they want to get him back in. If we'll they're see. cool to go back in. Oh, you've got to invite him for, normally, because we didn't add him last time, did we? We just had to put his account, account in. We had Gur. Yeah. Crazy Fingers. No, he's already to invite Gur, because he's already here. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, invite. How do I invite again? What is this? Fingers uh, back. We are the most professional of environments right here. Sorry, I ain't League Ops. Well, we'll see what happens in these disconnect scenarios, but... Right, while I wait for him to rejoin, I'm just gonna quickly grab a drink, because it's very warm down here, and I'm uh, a warm boy. Uh, girl, do you wanna see? Uh, still on the hill. We'll ask you, girl, while you're in the chat. Do you wanna, do you wanna take the game, or should we just let it rock? And go back to the start of that and, game. And just go back to the start of that game, as always, and just go 6-3, resume it. We will wait patiently for the result. Girl will, yeah, Girl will still be on the left as well. If it takes him a while to join, he might have had like a blackout. Maybe his internet cut out or something. Because he's not in the chat currently. Oh no, he, he is here. He's in the chat at the moment. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll let you guys know. What's going on? I think Mustard's going to get himself a drink while we wait. So we'll just see what happens. Oh. All right, let's just wait for a second, but i got to say, really happy that we're seeing a little bit more Atom get played tonight because I think we saw the, the potential of Atom before. Can't join, or can you send another invite? Okay, yeah, we'll send you another invite, uh, fingers real quick. Didn't get the first one. Let's invite you in. And then there we go. Thanks, mate. Oh. There you go, you should have it. How's it going, Rebel? Oh yeah, I actually remember you noticing on a comment before, Rebel, that you wanted to be part of this. And again, to be honest, if you want to be part of a first attend, then by all means, just let us know. Hit us up on Twitter, we'll add you to the first attend group and we'll get you oh, in for a future it. week. Um, while we just wait for uh, Fingers to join, I suppose. But to be honest, guys, yeah, if you want part of the if you want part of the first attempt, you know, let us know that you want to play. Give us some match footage, or Oops. if you're like, in many cases, if you're already like a competitive player and you're playing in like online tournaments, or if you're playing offline tournaments, just send us a link or something so we can see what you're playing like. Um, because in many cases, it's just you know, there's so many players out there, we just can't think of everyone. And in many cases, we get approached by a player. Um, um, it, the normal reaction is, oh, of course, yeah, you know, it's just it's just b being reminded about what you're playing like and what your character is, and just because we we know most of these players anyway, you know, we've seen them play for years and years, and it's a matter of just being reminded that you still play, right? And, and that's ultimately what it comes down to. Uh, is it letting him join? Let's see, dude, devastating man, how's it going, dude? Long time no see. You know, uh, been a while since the community cups, dude. So Long time. Hi Res announced today who's going to be um, basically their, their talent lineup for Worlds in a few weeks' time. 
uh, Kelly, hi, Rose Kelly is um, hosting the analyst desk. That's amazing. She hasn't been with Smite in ages, but I remember I miss I miss when her and Bart used to work with Smite. The dream team, it man. Was, it was the Kelly dream and Bart team. was the dream team. Prince Jax, yeah, how's it going, man? Oh, oh no, no. Uh, you know, I'm going to be so sad if they're not able to play because of internet issues. Because this is such a good set. I guess all we can say at the moment, guys, is sorry. But yeah, just bear with us, guys. Nature of online tournaments or no online matches, isn't it? Because it's trying to uh, figure out what's going on and, and getting stably. But obviously, like you know, internet can be a fickle thing sometimes. Let's just wait for a second. Could be power cut in his area. Invite could be him back in. Internet's just not going well. Could be multiple things. Damn. I don't get what's up. Yeah, I mean, well, theoretically, your internet should be fine, fingers, because I mean, you're currently in Twitch chat, right? Like, it's not like your internet has died. I do wonder. I mean, the game has the game had an update already. Servers down. Is the game down, is it? Maybe game injustice. Might be. I don't know, because surely if the game was down, then Gur and us would not be in this, uh... We shouldn't be in the... We should, this, this King of the Hill would not exist, surely. Well, I have no idea how it works. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll see what happens. Because I'm actually going to be well disappointed, because I'm, I'm really enjoying this set. Mm. Really, really enjoying this set. What was available? Were you just going back to 6-3? Uh, yeah, we, I think we were just letting it rock. Let me check the chat. Okay. Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Adam. Uh, so did go let it rock? I can't remember actually. I think I asked him. Fighters Still in the hill. Metropolis. What happened? I actually don't. I can't remember if Gur right, says. Let's just go back to six three then. We'll just continue with six three. Yeah, we'll call it a six three and just hope things go. Yeah, but again, sorry about that, guys. But we're we're good to go. Begin. There's an update. Okay, well if it keeps doing it. Well, I updated before the stream went live, so it shouldn't be an issue. What part of the UK are we from? We are from uh, East Anglia in the UK. So the east of England. I wouldn't really say you and I have an accent, to be honest with you. I think we're... we're default English. We're, we're, we're from a part of the country where um, uh, like almost like farmer-style accents are quite popular because we come from like a countryside area in the UK. But for some reason, we just didn't develop an accent. I don't know why. Everyone else around us did, but we didn't, if you know what I mean. Still, though, back on the topic. Gur is... Uh, oh, yeah, completely so hot in this one. I know, boy. Crazy, it was just the reset, man. He just needed that time to get the breathing space. That wake up, de delay, wake up into down one. That is the special. That is the frustration right there. Oh, oh wow, big hit. Yes. Just getting clipped by the edge of that four two. Just comes so much to the screen. Big answer. Girls going to more of those meter burn back threes now. Didn't spend the bar there. Just want the restand. I, oh, actually, I, actually, I respect the attempt. I actually really like how Gur is um, ending a few combos in the restand now, though, because Crazy Fingers has been so wake up happy because of that amazing <laughs> wake up attack that Swamp Thing has, and it just cuts that out completely. Tried to blast him with his laser gun, but not today. But challenge on that jump three. Now, of course, is he going to try and answer the delay? Oh, full combo there. That is the quintessential what you want to happen when you're fighting at him. I let him come out of that trait. Let him just, just just defend until it runs out and then just get that free combo. Just waiting for those jumps, but again, this kind of full screen game where it's heavily based on winning trades and trades being in your favor. If you haven't got the life lead, of course, that game plan can't exist. Right. Gur has come back before, though. So, I mean, just look at this health. Of course, of course it's not game over, but... Oh, so much green on the floor. I know. Wow, and it just blew it up. Nice. Oh, see yeah. Ow, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Ooh, oh dear. 400. Again, it's like half the combo damage is the grab. Oh, oh that no. delay. And the heal. What is Gur gonna do to get? This could be it for that's our punished. hero. Oh, <laughs> he got phased through the brick wall. Oh, and the car. Swamp creature loses to space technology. It's into the big city for you, boy. Oh. oh. And of course, this is this is gonna be hard to come back from. Wow, he's going ham. He is not afraid anymore. Oh, oh. of course. Well, wow. 6-4 right now. Fingers did get a game on the board. After the unfortunate disconnect, but we're back in it. Back in business. I mean, we'll go 6-4, but to be honest, I can't remember it. You should it. have heard the Birmingham accent from Under Jim. Oh, oh dear. That was amazing. I mean, it's it's more that... Under Jim has one of the thickest Birmingham accents is of all thick time. Birmingham. Thick and traditional. Birmingham... Under Jim's from Birmingham. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> My wordy word. The thing about cyborg is, pull off the incendies with the hip hop. Yeah, I like. I like how you quieten down because because Jim is quite a quiet man. Yeah, yeah. It's a very very there's, mild. Tone there's a very voice. there's a very feathery tone to Under Jim's voice. 
No, true talent is like, alrighty guys. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's like all I can do for true talent. Right. Now, back to business. The matter at hand. He's just getting punched. That's such a rude attack from something where he just calls the friend and he just clouts you in the back of the head. Pull off some more combos of Flash. Oh, dude. There's just no point. You just play Dark Side. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the jump. Oh, oh the that's a big read. Oh, I'm, I'm oh, that's a slight lag spike. Oh, no! no, 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 no. The, end of the chemicals for you. I've Into never seen chemicals. someone die to the the little 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 cloud. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you reappeared and got punched in the back of the head. This is amazing. Oh. Oh wow! Oh, last try to combo. Up. I don't think any of us expected that to cross up. To be honest. No, I don't think so. Big revive. I honestly think that 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 health regen is one of the strongest things that Swamp Thing has. Oh, and there's the cloud. Oh my lord, the damage. Doing Ooh. 15 points just every couple of seconds or every few moments, I think, is so strong. Big right. jump in. And again, Gur is just keeping it small. He wants to make this unclashable. I think he just wants to get the war of attrition now. He just wants to, to, to just outlast Crazy Fingers, knowing he has the life. Yeah, I mean, yeah, as, as, as long as. Oh my god, as long as those chemicals are in play, that's going to be so dangerous for Gur to do anything. But the thing is, Green Thumb's going to give him a, a chunk of health regen. So when I mean, you think about how much. How long it will take to whittle him down with the damage over time, comparison to like a big chunk of health regen, you know? I mean, crazy thing That's a big punish. He's gonna end this combo, yeah, if he gets a grab attempt here, probably expecting Gurr to jump out. I gotta say, actually, Gurr has been consistently jumping out of those um, tick throw attempts, and he's been right on those reads. But when he expects no tick grab, and he knows he can sit there and block, again, his reads have been on the money. Like, Gurr's, Gurr's general reading on this command grab situation is like on point all the time. Oh, trip him up. And again, good fuzzy on the log. Oh, that pause. The discipline from Crazy Fingers. Oh, that instant overhead. Oh, That's going to work. Oh, the reaction. There he goes. There he goes. Not even an opportunity to spend all that bar. 7-4. It's going to be for Gur. Very, very good. I like that. I love that super so much. It's not one of the best supers in the game, but it's good. It's definitely good. Indeed. Well, you're talking about like all these you know potential adaptations that we've been seeing on the fly, and the, the difference from the beginning of the set to now is is quite night and day, in my opinion, from, for how we're seeing this matchup be played. Um, Crazy Fingers' is defense on the trait, you don't really see players defend this atom trait as as well as Crazy Fingers. I mean, ultimately, it is a read. He does have an instant overhead. He's got a low. He's got a really irritating mid string that he can keep going as long as he's got the bar. And he's got the throw. You have to make a read. Is he going to go for the throw? If he stops attacking, what is he trying to set up here? Is he trying to set up the instant overhead? Because the, the overhead is um, he jumps and then his, 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 his jump three while he's in the air as the tiny atom becomes an overhead where he just slams down to the ground immediately. So that is, in a sense, his overhead option. But you still have to make a read. There, there's no one given thing. The easiest way to defend is to push block when he starts that multiple hitting mid string. But obviously, you don't really want to push block it. You want to punish him for it. You want to make the read on how he's going to come out and get a free hit. But it requires you making a read, which, you know, you might be wrong and take damage. The safest thing is to push block, but it's not ideally what you want to do every time. It does look like one thing um, Atom does, though, uh, is the best range jump he has is his jump three, which, of course, a, a far range jump three connecting leaves you with not a lot of time, and that was a fantastic trade. So much damage for, like, one wayward stun, and there we go. There's the damage over time. God, the, the brick wall of defense. Gur's micromanaging. I've got to say, so impressive two weeks in. Yeah, it's looking good. What's he going to turn that into? Just more damage over time. It's just putting chemicals everywhere. Just standing in it everywhere he goes. There's the read. Nice read there from Fingers. But no, doesn't convert into the bar. I wonder why. Wow. Well, yeah, and he just continued the whole thing. I don't think Crazy Fingers was expecting him to just commit to the whole string. Or at least the whole time, I should say. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I just realized cash now. No pun intended on the micromanaging statement. God's sake. But now I'll take full credit for it and use it at a later date. Oh, knocks into the damage again. I love the down one check. We've seen very little of that float from Gur. Very, very little. I wonder if he just doesn't think it's very good in this matchup because Swamp Thing has got a very, very dangerous down too. 
Uh, especially if he gets close enough to block, but I'm not quite sure. And again, Gurry's, he's getting that. Thing is, he's getting a lot of those jump threes, but for some reason, Crazy Fingers is just crouching them because he's. You see, like when he when he gets hit by the jump three, he's very low to the ground, which normally happens if you're crouching. But the problem is, he's kind of consistently oh, always crouching. Goes. Oh, I love it. I love watching it. I feel like it, that was definitely a read of the uh, the charge, 100%. He just got the wrong wake-up attack, I think. It wasn't after that wake-up attack at all. Wow, and there we go. No clash allowed. Ooh. The invincibility of the meter burn dash going through the ground pound. Very effective. That's it. Chip. Oh, there's a push block. Nice. Oh, wait a second. Hang on a minute. He hasn't got a clash. This could be a big comeback. Heal? Yes, he's going to heal. I wonder if it's going to be enough. He doesn't have a trade back yet. Oh, not quite enough. That what? did literally no damage. What? That did eight... Wait, guys, clip that, clip that. That did eight points of damage. Can someone clip that, please? Someone clip that. We need to see that back. He got hit by the... He got hit by the ground pound, but it did eight points of damage. I need to watch that again. What happened? We must have missed it. We must have missed something. Is that how much it does on block? But he was in the middle of a meter burn forward dash. I don't know. Let's Doesn't see. Make sense. Let's see what happens. We need to watch that back. That's we crazy. Do. Definitely. Is that 8-4? Or is that 9-4? 8-4. Damn. I mean, this is good for Gur. I mean, he w he started the series 3-0 down. Yes. And then he took five games in a row. Yeah, not bad at all. I feel like we must have missed something that made it look like something that it wasn't. Surely. I mean, surely. I mean, to me, it looked like he got hit by the um, the ground pound during meat burn forward dash and took a chip damage from it. Because he'd just healed after it. Yeah. He'd just healed first. But maybe he did block it. Maybe we just missed it in the moment. I guess we'll, we'll look at the clip after and see what yeah. happens. After the set, we'll watch it. And we'll show you guys. And we'll analyze it live. But, oh, there we go. Now, um, someone pointed out uh, the push blocking. We don't see the trait get push blocked a lot to prevent these chip situations. And part of it is this, right? Because he changes sides so sporadically. Of course, to push block, you need to block and then push in the direction Am is currently sitting at. And if he's constantly zipping between left and right, it's of course going to be very, very difficult to push block somewhere where you don't really know where Atom's going to be, you know, in terms of what side he's on. But even then, like, push blocking is still a bit easier. Or that, le that does so much damage, man. Push blocking tends to be less risky than, than making the read over, you know, how is he going to use the last bit of this trait. But push blocking, I mean, Ideally, why, would oh, you, nice. why should you spend resources to push block if you can get a full punish if you make the right read? It's just riskier, right? It's it's not a go-to answer every time, because sometimes you just don't want to push block. You want to actually get full damage on him. A FT10 is a first to 10. First to 10 games. Uh, as you can see, Gurr's currently got eight games won, so he has to win two more. Fingers, of course, needs to win six more. Um, you should be able to post... Uh, you should be able to post a clip. I think, I think if the clip is from the stream you're currently watching, you should... Well, I'm going to mod Scars Unseen anyway because it's long overdue, but there we go. The wrap-up. One round each. Good stuff. Oh, that's going to be a full combo. Oh, the Ooh. air attack. But, I mean, it, it managed to get him out of the Almost end, but that's, that's, not, that's not the bit you want to escape. Almost beneficial for Gur because he dropped the final hit. That obviously would have sent full screen on hit. And there's the heal, though. Fingers. He's in the driving seat. And of course, there's the teleport. Good fuzzy on the log again. That real mix-up, dude. That mix-up between meter burn, teleport, or not. And if you're expecting the meter burn, he's just going to teleport away unchecked. Slap. I love that, man. I I'm so going to keep saying it. This character is so fun to watch. Do the thing when you shrink. Go on. There you go. I mean, the crouch. I love it. When he, I'll never get tired of the crouch. When he ducks it and just shrinks, it's hilarious. But in, in the most amazing way. Ah, oh. Dude, this ground pound mix-up is so dangerous. But, but now, now he's, he's got to be careful. Yeah, now he's got to watch out. He's got to do out. it. He's trying to bait. He's crouching because he wants to bait it. Oh, <gasps> that could have been risky. it. Risky. Girl's playing with Dude, fire. He, he, don't, don't give it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Too slow. No. I gotta say, I loved the crouching because his crouching animation looks so similar to the ground belt. No! Oh, that's so smart! Oh boy. That was so smart and or very annoying for crazy figures. Well, I mean, it makes sense, you know, Swamp Thing Super's not the fastest in the world, and the chemical is, I think, recovers faster than the ground pound, so it was a good move from Gur. <laughs> That's so good. He's ducking because it looks a oh, little bit really? like... Look, look, look. No, we'll, we'll analyze that after. Right, we'll, we'll find it. We're going to watch the stomp after the series, and we'll, and we'll have a look and see what happens. Oh, man. I just, I just love it. He's just crouch... So, again, for those that may have wondered what, what the hell we're talking about, obviously, crouching looks very similar to his little hop, which is the ground pound. So, of course, Crazy Fingers had super and was looking to uh, super on reaction to ground pound. 
but he saw the chemical and he saw the chemical yep. and thought that nah, it will do that will do but unfortunately it wasn't quite the same that was so good that was so good oh again man that must be the size of a sky scrape sky scraper when he shrinks and that log comes hurling at him i mean he's reading that every time now i think guru is kind of just thinking that one step ahead now now oh I wonder if he either dropped the combo there, maybe he tried to go for the grab, or he'd gone for the one into jump before. Like, that has actually been a deliberate setup for a last minute cross up. But I don't think that was one of those cases. There's the knockdown into the chemical. Yeah, what even gonna, was that? I don't even know. Things are going to get really tricky. Oh, oh, no, dropped the combo. Yep. He is dropping a lot of combos right now. And this might be that post, like, that sort of last game scenario. Got to tighten up his execution. Yeah, of course, there's the standing one into grab. I think he tried to go for that before. Oh, there's the overhead. Good block on it into a tick grab. I actually don't remember the last time we ever saw that tick grab in a real game. You just so seldom see that that string from something that. I mean, I think it, I actually forgot that it actually tick grabbed that two one little Santos match point for Gur. The little man might be winning the set. And of course, I mean Adam, not Gur. Oh, there it is. That meter burn stomp is so good. It's working out for him. This is now match point for Gur. One more life bar and he's going to win. First attempt. Woo. Oh, wow. That must have been like max of the max range. Now, this is where Crazy Fingers starts the comeback. Down one, expecting to press a button. And he did. Good read. Oh, let's go down to Microtown. Adam is such a dork. He's great. It's <laughs> so amazing. Good trade for Fingers, to be honest. Keep his back to the corner. Watch out for those chemicals, of course. And ooh. oh, oh wow, late down two. I actually love that he knew that the down two was going to be really safe in that range because with the chemicals on the floor, he really only could have jumped at a certain trajectory, which gives Gar a lot of mileage to go right. What angle was he going to jump from? And my down two is going to be safe here. A lot of chip damage, but you know, at this sort of life, Gar is happy to just chip him down one hit at a time. Oh, that's going to help, big chunk like that. When he expects a button press but nothing comes, he just shrinks and looks you in the eyes. Ah, there's the heal. Good stuff for Crazy. Yeah, he's got one more. If he gets any green thumb. There's that shrink again. God. I will never get used to I will never tire of seeing that. Watch out. Oh, oh and there's the call out again. But he gets opened up. That's gonna be a full combo. Crazy fingers. Actually, is that gonna do enough? Ooh, not quite. Yeah. There we go. And there's the patience. That was really good for Crazy Fingers. I actually thought he was going to go for Green Thumb for the health regen, but he must have just thought, nah, I'm just going to cash out on damage. Took that magic pixel. God, that Meteor Burn Vine Grab. I always not, not ready at all for the amount of damage it adds on at all. Well, I mean, it's one of the most satisfying moves, I think, to watch with just how much extra damage it chunks on the end. Swamp thing. Uh, Scars Unseen, I also hate door-to-door -door people. You guys on stream, some of you may remember we actually had someone, a door-to-door -door guy, knock on our door during a stream, and he couldn't believe that we were currently unavailable. It was uh, quite a meme, but that's a story for another time. He thought we were playing FIFA, and he was like, oh, you're not. Yeah, he's like, I, I can hear you're playing FIFA. What are you on about? I'm like, what? A, you're wrong. B, what are you looking in my window for, you freak? I mean, that's basically what I boiled down to. I was like, I looked through your curtains, your blinds are drawn, but I found an angle to stare through them. <laughs> and I definitely saw FIFA. Right. Enough of this. Yeah. One more game still. I love burgers. Type 1 if you agree. Type 2 if you disagree. Damn. I would type 1 if I was in Twitch chat. Burgers are good. Right. Look at the patience again. Oh, and I, I like that use, but actually not far away enough. Because it was at the very end, of course, he's going to be a little bit more unsafe the more he uses up, as far as I remember. But he tried everything he could to escape. Like, I actually do love the awareness of Gur, but right now it looks like Fingers is making a lot of good read, but no! Drops it! But there goes the tick grab. So, making the best of a bad situation, and of course the patience. Fingers, man, he's looking a lot more comfortable. He was a little bit shaken, I think, in that previous game, but it's I mean, good that he's turned it around. He's just been a bit cleaner when approaching Gur on the ground. Like, his Oki has been there. Like, he's ready to punish the wake up. He's clearly learning it the longer this goes on. Oh, watch out for that jump three. Nice little stand up. Oh wow, so much damage coming. This game is just a completely just escaping go now. <laughs> That's not working out the oh, same God. way. That's going to be a full combo. I don't know Bath spent though. I wonder if he was confident it was going to work. 
Ouch. That is going to be a jump three Gero is going to regret. Yeah. Get the clash out of him. And Crazy Thing is still on so little life. It's always unfortunate when you're forced to use your clash before the opponent loses their first life bar. Just spin a bar on the teleport for Chip. I love the empty jumps actually coming out from Fingers. Oh. Probably because he's expecting ground pound, so he's trying to empty jump just to be a little bit harder to trip guard. There's the chemicals. Never count them out. If he's forced to stand in these chemicals, uh -oh. the damage over time, Crazy Fingers Hang on a minute. Here. Wait a minute. Gur is down on life, but he's got a, a reusable corner reactor actable behind him. If our Crazy Fingers, I'd have literally thrown him out of the corner just so he can't do this. Oh no! <laughs> He's going back to it. He, he wants he, it again. Oh, no, this is good. He's got a reusable corner interactor. We'll get him out of there. Don't let him do it. This is not the player you want to have oh, access no. to this. Crazy Fingers may have lost this game the moment he didn't throw him out of the corner. No. <gasps> that could have been the game. Oh, preemptive. No, the unsafe stuff. No. Oh, Crazy Fingers, what did you do? That was it. Okay, so he, he should have thrown Gur out of the corner. And then he, he reappeared naturally. That was a full damage time. But and no clash. Grab. No clash either. Oh, Crazy Fingers, unfortunately, choking the last life bar. Oh, dearie me. So close yet yeah, so far. Good game, though. Good games. Very good games. Really, really good to see the, fam the, the, the famous in the making Atom by Gur. My fresh, word. Fresh off NLBC. Fresh off NLBC. And now, fresh off the most prestigious of wins. KNM first to 10. Hey man, it doesn't get much more impressive than that. I know, this is the peak. This is the pinnacle. It will not get Top better than this. Top 8 Evo? Who cares? <laughs> Top 8 IPS? Who cares? It's all about at this, the first this to 10. This stream and the hat that he has won. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. But either way, all jokes aside, that was good. That was a really good no, game. That was really enjoyable. I like that a lot. Atom is going to be one of those crowd pleasers. I, I love him. It. I can feel but it. But he's good as well. Like, Atom is, is also a good character. Like, he's, he's really unique, he's really interesting. But of course, he's viable too. So we're going to see him. We're probably going to see him in tournaments. And if we see him in tournaments, of course, that means there's a high chance for us to see a character that everyone enjoys. You know, which means 2018 could be pretty cool. Uh, we'll see how the rest of the DLC follows through. But either way, I'm I happy mean, to Teenage see him. Mutant Ninja Turtles are on the way. The Ninja Turtles. They are, yet are on released. route. They yet to be released. Yet to be released. But that actually, um, for this week, 